Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome to a new vlog. Today is officially day two in Hanoi, Vietnam. Um, we are still jet lagged from yesterday, so Jeremy was awake at three o'clock this morning and has not gone back to sleep. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and have not gone back to sleep. So from about five until half six, I was just tossing around in bed, could not like get myself back to sleep again. Decided, you know what, F this, got my laptop out and started working. So I've edited two videos this morning. Um, it's now 10 to 11. We both showered, well, I showered, Jeremy didn't, he showered yesterday. But showered and we're just about to go out for some breakfast. But I just wanted to say hello, welcome to the vlog and let's enjoy Hanoi. Jeremy's got some plans today as well. He's kind of done some research. Um, so like yesterday, we kind of just wandered around and explored a little bit. Today, we've got some temples and things to go and visit. So we're a little bit more structured today hopefully but Jeremy's starving so time for some breakfast so let's get going. Okay so we are out walking around and I think we've just made it to the park with all the Christmas decorations and it looks so cute so I'm going to show you. Look at all these Christmas decorations we're trying to zoom in. So cute! Wow! And yes, by the way, we are literally walking on the street because the pavements are closed and obviously full of Christmas decorations. Wow. Look at this Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. One road had just Christmas decorations, Christmas trees, just it was crazy. So many people, but so beautiful. Absolutely loved it. Anyway, we're now walking towards a cafe because Jeremy wants to try one of the sandwiches. Apparently, the sandwiches here are really good because they use French bread because French used to not own but you know colonized, I guess, whatever Vietnam. So, apparently, the bread here is really good. Just try not to fall over. Um, so we're going to go to this place that's meant to be good for sandwiches, so we'll see. Okay, so this is it, Barn Me 25, and this is the menu, so let's see what we want. Okay, so Jeremy went for this one, and then I went for strawberry and blueberry yoghurt smoothie. Okay, so this is the sandwich. It's a stir fry in a sandwich. Yeah, okay. You wanna try it? street again. I've been drinking my drink which is delicious. Jeremy's just eating his food and then we're about to go in the market just behind you over there which I think is a clothes market and then there's another one that's a food market. Yeah so we'll see. Okay so this is the fashion or clothes market we're about to go in so I just thought I'd show the outside. Right let's go. Okay, so this is where we are. If you want to Google it, if you ever come to Vietnam, you can have a look. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But we've just got here. There's a couple of markets outside, but let's go in and have a look. Okay, so this is in the middle of the market. There's a water fountain, which is cute. And there's a second layer and then big high ceilings. But it's absolutely crammed full of people and clothes and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, have you? No. Oh 
Oh, there's a third floor. Oh my goodness. So we just came up a floor, so we're now on the third floor. It's absolutely insane. Like, I've not known anything like it. Gold collar. Jeremy's just found this with girl collar on it. <laughs> So I think this might be dried lobster or something. No idea what these are. If it's mushroom maybe.
Okay, so we've just finished at the two markets and it was crazy. We started off in the fabrics market, which was unlike anything I've ever seen before. Everybody was working so fast and so hard and pushing you out the way. And like, I've never felt so, I've never felt more in the way in my entire life. It was just crazy. So, so much. I tried to film certain bits, but like you just can't get a scale of it until you're here. And then we went to a food market, which was equally bizarre. There's like dried prawns. I think dried fish, there was turtles for sale, like baby tiny ones and quite big ones, loads of fish as well. Um, I don't know if there were mushrooms, something like that. It was just and that huge crisp things. I don't know, I didn't know what most of the things were in the shop, so it was just crazy. So enjoyable to go around and so um, interesting. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. If you know, please do let me know in the comment section. What on earth is that? Is it a pepper? Is it a fruit? I don't know. Okay, so we have walked to this gate. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It's a beautiful old gate. I was just saying to Jeremy, my brain hurts from just seeing so much and smelling so much and hearing so much. My brain is like fried at how crazy this place is, but I absolutely love it at the same time. Okay, so we decided we're hungry and we're going to try and get into this place. It doesn't seem like there's any space, but if we can get a table, we might go there. So Jeremy just asked for these because everybody else was eating them. We have no idea what it is, but let's try it. Mm. Nice. Okay, so we just paid for lunch and we paid 100,000, which is about four euros for two bowls of that noodle soup with also those like churros dough things. We're now going to go to a temple and then we'll be heading back to the hotel to relax a little bit and also escape the noise and the craziness. Uh, we're currently walking on the road like we were earlier. <laughs> so I've got loads of motorbikes coming towards me. I hope you can hear me. Anyway, we're going to a temple next. So we can't go in so we might have to come back another day or just leave it but this is the outside okay so we came home um i did something on my laptop and then basically fell straight to sleep it's now half three. Jeremy's been trying to wake me up for ages, but I was like a zombie. And I now feel like, you know, you're that tired that you almost feel drunk. I'm now at like that point of tired. <sighs> I think it's just the jet lag kicking in. Anyway, we are up and we're about to go to the lake, which is close by. There's some story about the fact that somebody dropped a sword in the lake and then a, um, a turtle or something came to save it. I don't know. Um, I hope I'll find out more when I get there. But anyway, we're going to go to the lake now, so let's get going. So we've made it this far, so far. I just want to give you a little bit of a view of what we're looking at. And then this big one here reminds me of a boat, it's like the back of a boat, it's all restaurants and things. 
and then we've got a water fountain here oh and there's the lake is that the lake oh we're here already i thought we started further to go okay let's go see that okay we've made it to the lake it's so pretty So we've decided to walk around the lake. I think we're going to do the whole loop and then see something at the end. But it's lovely and like calm on one side and then crazy traffic on the other side. So it's a bit of a contrast, but it is nice. I like when cities have lakes and parks and things in the middle so that people can like enjoy and be by nature, even if it is still quite noisy and things, but it is lovely, it's beautiful. So first of all, this is so cute, I love that, and then the other thing is over there, there's a lantern Christmas tree, which I think is gorgeous. So cute. Apparently this is a post office that the French opened when they owned Vietnam, and now it's still there. I'm not sure what this is in the middle of the lake. I might have to do some Googling. But it's so lovely. And I particularly love these trees coming over the lake. It's so nice. It's a downhill for the drive. Okay, so we've now come to a square which is just on the lake. It's got a statue of somebody in front. I'm not sure who that is. My history and my knowledge of Vietnam is like zero, so I really can't help you out here. But um, yeah, it's lovely. So this is the statue that's in this square. If you want to Google who that is, go ahead. I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. So these people are playing. Jeremy described it as badminton with their feet. It's crazy. and apparently there's a temple in there that you have to pay for but apparently it's worth it so we're going to pay and go in it's so beautiful so 
So apparently this is the Penn Tower and this is also the entrance to get into the temple that we're going to go to and cross the bridge and it's so pretty. Oh, I think it's lovely. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the ticket place and it's 30,000 for one ticket, which is just over a euro basically. We've arrived at the palace and we have paid to go through. We've just gone over the bridge and we're now about to go actually in. I just had a sneak peek and it's all red and gold and it looks incredible. So let's go in. So if you want to learn more about this place, you can pause the video and read this, but this is about the turtle basically um, saving people and with the sword and things. I've not read it fully, but I will do when I get home. So I thought these were plastic and fake. I didn't really pay much attention to them, but apparently this one, well, both of them are real turtles that came out of this lake. So that's huge. One so meter. Like plastification of them. So yeah, like plastification, whatever that means. So you can keep the bones and the organs and things. But does it say one meter twenty? I think it said. Two hundred kilo. And two hundred kilos. I didn't realize they were real. I'm now looking at it properly, like oh. Okay. Got a bit of an otter face. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Okay, so I think we're finished at the temple, and it cost about a pound or euro each to get in. Definitely worth it. Lovely to look around. What's the plan now? Walk out. Work out? We're going back to the hotel? Yeah. Oh, it means I can snooze again. <laughs> I'm so tired! So just as we were about to leave, the lights came on and it looks so beautiful. Okay, so we went back to the hotel. I tried to sleep, I tried to get some work done. I feel like an absolute zombie. But we've come back out, it's about half seven. We've come back out for some dinner and we've come to somewhere and just been like, two. <laughs> and I think we're doing a barbecue because she put the barbecue thing next to us. So that'll be interesting. We didn't really plan this, but it'll be fun to try anyway. So this is the place that we've come to. And there's the woman who's making our food, I think. And this is where we're sitting. So we've got higher chairs today rather than these small ones. We're going to sit in normal sized chairs and see what happens. Okay, we've been given these. So these are basically like limes. These are chilies and I think that is salt. I'm not sure what this sauce is. I'm going to try it. No idea what it is though. Okay, so this is the plate of food. I'm pretty sure there's chicken feet on there. I think I saw. And then they've set this on fire and then they put oil on there. She's told us to put butter on there as well. I think she's gonna help us. 
and then we've got our salt and lemon and sauce and then tea we've also got bread and lettuce wow Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot already. <laughs> so look on here, we've got these. Mm. I think that's the chicken feet. We've got these as well. Squid, um, octopus, I think. I think this might be mushrooms. So she said these are cheese balls and there's octopus and she said these ones are really good for your health, the green things because octopus. <laughs> the green ones are good for your health and it's not spicy, we thought it might be chilli so I have no idea what that is. Time for round two. <laughs> Those forgot me with that. <laughs> So that's the second plate that we're still working our way through and then we've just been given some more meat and she's opening up another candle to put like more heat on it. So I've got a cooked chicken foot, I'm going to try and eat it and see how we get on. Okay so I didn't close the video off last night because I was just too tired, like I was an absolute zombie but dinner was great, it's not my type of food I would have every day, I'd much rather have the super noodles and meat in there. Um, rather than a pile of meat barbecued, but it was fun nonetheless. It cost us 330,000, which is about four, eight, tw about 12 euros, something like that, um, which included the drinks and obviously all that mound of food that we had and the salad and the bread and all the rest of it. So it was really, really good. Um, a really good experience and the woman there was brilliant as well. So we had a really good day. It was super long as well, obviously because we woke up, well, I woke up at 5 a.m. Jeremy was awake since 3 a.m. So we slept really well last night, but today is going to be a whole new vlog. So you'll have to go ahead and subscribe for today's part of the journey. But thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Bye.